I cancelled and missed this freaking fork. What, what win to H2? Ripping every single part of my territory right here. Literally focused on my time and I literally won on time. Look at this. Very simple ladder made it. Very embarrassing. They're like bosses. I cannot go here because of the bishop. I cannot go here because of the bishop again. I cannot go here because of the rock. And I am on check, which is I I was literally deleted of the universe. Hello everyone and today we're gonna show you how I won this game with the guy that I that crushed me about yesterday yesterday. And also I'm gonna show you I lost the I lost also to the next game after this game that I won. Anyways, this is very silly. E4, E5, I go knight to C3, he goes knight to C6, I can do the copycat variation which I did. He can, he can go here, but he did go this way. Why didn't he develop his bishop over here? Because the possibilities of this. And yeah, anyways, I go pawn to D3, he develops his bishop on G7, I go knight to F3. He goes knight to f6, I go queen to d2 having this strong diagonal on the queen. Anyways, he goes and castles, and I go queen to e3. He can go knight to g3 attacking my queen which is dead, which he did. I go here, he goes knight to a5 attacking my bishop, now he can trade my bishop. I think, I, okay, I dropped my bishop back to b3. If he takes, I'm gonna have this file, active file for the rook. Anyways, he took, I took, and I have this very strong rook now. Anyways, he goes pawn to c6, which I don't know what is is he doing. Anyways, he, I think he's going to put his queen there or something. Anyways, I go bishop to e3. If he takes, I'm gonna take with a queen. Now I re-strong in the diagonal of my queen. Anyways, he goes pawn to d5, and literally, I cancelled and missed this freaking fork wait what what and i literally spent 16 seconds because look eight minutes and 14 seconds on the clock and then seven minutes and 58 seconds on the clock literally 16 seconds to think of castling and literally blundering i mean what anyways he goes pawn to d4 i go queen to d2 he takes the knight at least i get the pawn that he took the knight with Anyways, he goes pawn to f6, try to defend the pawn on e5, I go rook to d2, I mean d1, he goes bishop to g4, pinning my knight to the to the rook on d1. Anyways, I can move my king to here, here, because this has literally no hope of being defended, it's defended by the pawn, but when he takes, I'm gonna have my, you know, uh, you know, my king exposed. I go and check, now his king is safer, I go and attack the bishop which is a mistake, now I doubled my pawn structure, he goes pawn to f5 which is a great move because if he were to take, he would have this pile over here which attacks my weakened pawn when he traded the knight and I doubled my pawn structure, anyways he took, I took with e4 and attacked the queen which I did not, which I did do, I should have done is e4 that would still blunder a pawn because literally it would open the doors for my f2 pawn anyways i go here attack the queen he goes queen to f6 avoiding the danger i go queen to e2 he goes rook to d8 crushing the file and i cannot take because you know if i take he's gonna refile it anyways i go here he takes why did he oh, wait I should have taken with a queen, although he might attack me here. This is protected by the queen, by the way, if he goes there. I took with a pawn, he goes and checks me, and I go g2 and goes and checks me again for no reason. I go h2, he goes bishop to, I don't know, h6, finally developing his bishop there on my king side territory. I go rook to g1, try to sabotage this queen so that he can go away from my territory. By the way, he checks me again for no reason, I blocked. He goes and attacks my pawn, but it's defended. I go rook to g1, attacking his queen. I, he goes and checks me again for no reason. By the way, so many checks, bro. Anyways, this, I think the check stopped here, about here. I go king to g2. He goes queen to f6, keeping this attack. But 
it's still defended by three pieces. He is attacking it by two pieces. Anyways, I go rook to g4. He goes queen to e6. I go queen to c2. He goes pawn to e5. A5. I go king to g3 to guard every single thing in this literal in this territory. Anyways, never mind. He goes bishop to g7. I go queen to c3. He goes pawn to h5, which traps my rook. Wait, that's wait. He I did not. I did not trap my rook. Never mind. He checks me. Anyways, if I were to take, then it would be losing for me. He might go over here check me, but I can block. So yeah, I was scared of that. So I did go h two. He goes and takes my blundered pawn. And also, I didn't. I go here, try to protect the pawn. Still, I don't know. I just don't know. I go rook to g2. He goes queen to h2, ripping every single part of my territory right here. And he, I go g1 and goes queen to e6 back. Try to make some plans on this side of the board, maybe. I don't know why would he go. Anyways, he should have, you know, he should have gone rook. Here. Oh wait, no, that's blundering. Never mind. Okay, never mind. He, I, I go king to f1. He goes pawn to h2. I mean h3. I go rook to g3. He takes. I take. He goes queen to h6, defending the pawn on h3. I go king to e2. And now the essence of time comes in. I knew that I need to beat him on time because I have 24 seconds and has 18 seconds. So. I literally traded the pawn for the, the queen and I literally forgot about everything and literally focused on my time and I literally won on time. Look at this. Oh wait, why did it turn to 16 when he lost on time though? I won on time. Literally one second and then zero and then I won on time. Wow. It starts with e4. I go Scandinavian. He takes. I'm gonna go for the modern variation. He goes knight to c3, which is a blood of for his pawn, which is a trade because literally he took my pawn, other pawn or something. Okay, he goes there. I'm not gonna try to take because if I try to take, he's gonna develop his knight. So I go pawn to e6. So if he takes my queen, I'm gonna have a pawn on the center of the board still if I take with a pawn. If he, he goes pawn to g3, try to develop his bishop over here so that if I take, if he takes, I'm going to take, he's going to take last. And then I took on the queen and literally fell for the trap of his developing of the knight. Anyways, literally kind of losing for me because it's now 3.6 for him. Anyways, I, he goes bishop to g2, developing his bishop. I go bishop to d7. He goes castles. I go bishop, I mean, knight to c6. I, he goes pawn to h4. I go castles. He goes knight to f i mean knight to g5 try to threaten this part i can go here guard the pawn so which maybe i did no i took the 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 knight instead which is better because i have literally this waiting file if i go here if it takes i'm gonna go here take the pawn okay he i go there and now i have this very active file on him right now okay there you go and he got this pawn to d4 attacking you know my piece on uh, c6 or something he literally blundered the pawn. Didn't I say that he blundered the pawn? Anyways, oh wait, I blundered the rook. Oh, the purpose of pawn to d4 was to take this rook right here. I took uh, the pawn anyways, so I blundered. Yeah. Anyways, I took the bishop. He goes rook to d1 attacking my horse, but I can go here, try to attack this. But once that happens, he checks, I can go here. Oh, wait, and then I can take this. Wait, I did not do that. Wait, can I literally take? Boom. Wait. Huh. Oh, wait, I cannot. Wait, can I? Wait. Wait. Boom, boom. Okay, wait. I, I think that doesn't work, actually, because my knight is blocking the way. Anyways, he goes pawn to a3. I go pawn to a6. He goes rook to d2. I go... Knight to eight one being trapped. Anyways, he takes with the rook. Anyways, I go pawn to c six. He goes pawn to f four. I go rook to e eight. He goes pawn to g four. I go pawn to e five. He will take the pawn, right? 
No, he didn't take because I would make my rook active if he were to take. I take the pawn because there is no hope for that pawn actually. So yeah. Anyways, rook to g6, rook to g8. I mean, he goes and doubles his rook. I can literally go away. He can go here now maybe and trade my rook for the rook. Anyways, he goes and attacks my pawn. I take the pawn and protect my other pawn which is on e5. He goes king to f2. I go bishop to e6. He goes and doubles the rook again for the second time. I go pawn to f6. Try to the try to defend the e5. He goes b4. I go king to d7. He goes rook to h1. I prevented the you know this, but I did not prevent this, so he might go there. No, he didn't go there. Literally didn't go there. I traded. Because I don't know why did I trade. Anyways, I go rook to g5. He goes and checks me and goes b7. The whole reason that this rook was breaching in is that he made this file to check me and literally take this pawn maybe. And a very weak pawn. Anyways, he blocks it and I literally took away the block and literally missed this file this rank i mean anyways i blundered i literally went full speed and yeah mated very simple ladder mated very embarrassing and yeah anyways time for the third game this game is going to be quick now okay i go e4 he goes e5 i go c3 he goes g6 i go f4 he takes and accepts the gambit. I go f f three. Try to prevent some lines for the pawn from pushing. And then he goes bishop to g seven, which literally attacks my knight. If he attacks my knight, I can take either with these two pawns. I didn't like that. So what did I do? I did. What I did is I got back to e two. He goes f six. I go pawn to d three. He goes knight to a h five. I go pawn to g3. He takes. I take. Now I have this very active file. By the way, from the past and very, from the past games from this guy, I literally I always have this active file either on these two rooks and I literally lost except for that one game I which I win on time. Anyways, he goes and castles. I go bishop to e3. He goes c6. I go queen to d2. Try to you know infiltrate which wait wait why didn't i go here and also i blundered upon which why didn't i go here or here which is protected by two knights anyways i blundered wow i blundered wow why did i blunder because i was literally over that up because of beating him anyways i go in castle protecting the rook on a1 anyways he goes pawn to b6 i go rook to b2 attacking the queen the queen goes back. I go knight to g5, and also the elo bar is on a roller coaster right now. He goes, whoa, wow, whoa, wow. Anyways, he go. I go g5. Literally, I can just go here, which is better than going here. Literally bo blocking my bishop, which does, which literally blocks my bishop because if I were to go this way, that would infiltrate to this side of the king. Which I did not do because I'm really dumb at this point. Because I don't know. Anyways, I go knight to g5. Missed the win or something. Anyways, I go f3. He goes g5. I go g4 attacking the knight. He goes and takes the, the rook for two rooks. So, Gotham said that uh, what is better? A rook, two rooks or a queen? It depends on the position. It depends on the position. Right now, the position is clearly winning for white because of this sacrifice and also all of my pieces are active. And also this also this is this knight is being attacked. What did I do? What the heck is that move? F2. What what? He goes from eating every, my rock. I have every piece active. And what did I move? 
the king. What? What is this? Anyways, he goes knight to f6. He goes, I go bishop to g5. He takes, I take from this beautiful sacrifice. Now I have this queen infiltrating the king, which literally, what did I do next? Can you guess? I can, wait, no. Actually, the king goes to h6 going forward. Which, what did I do next? What did I do next? Clearly, I can do this. I can do this. Checking him. What did I do? I took the freaking knight. Which blunders my queen. And that's how, folks, I lost this game. Did I resign? No, I did not resign. Because you know what? I literally have the motivation to win on time. He goes... Anyways, from this position, literally all the bishop, all the rooks are in here devouring my... Wait, this is this rook is not devouring. This this is the only rook devouring. Also, what the heck? Why did they turn white? Don't... Please don't. Please ignore the white. Anyways, he takes... He go. I go here, literally dominating and literally checkmated me. Checkmated me here. Which literally is very hard to see for a 800, 843. Literally, look. Look. I will it, wait. I can just go here, you know. Why did I go here? Because I had this essence of if you go your king towards the center, you're gonna win the game or something or something. Because of the Gotham chess video or something. I got there and checkmated me. And also look at the pieces. They're like bosses. I cannot go here because of the bishop. I cannot go here because of the bishop again. I cannot go here because of the rock. And I am on check which is... I, I was literally deleted of the universe. Okay, anyways. See you guys in the next video. Yep. And if you enjoyed this video... Please like and subscribe to make me more videos like this, which is very fun to do or something. Anyway, see you guys next video. Bye-bye.